In our weekly tourism update, during the first seven days of July, just over 43,000 tourists arrived in the country. In the year, almost 1.1 million tourists have arrived. Daily arrivals were 6,155 in the month, significantly up from the 3,782 recorded in June. In the month, India was the primary source market, followed by the United Kingdom and China. Arrivals during the month are expected to pick up as Sri Lanka is hosting the Daudi Bora International Convention, which started on Wednesday and will go on for 12 days. This comes as a major boost to the Sri Lankan tourism sector as the convention is expected to draw around 30,000 religious visitors from over 40 countries. Revenue from tourism rose to $1.56 billion in the first six months of 2024, a 77.9% increase from the same period last year. Sri Lanka is targeting 2.3 million tourist arrivals in the year, expecting to generate $4.6 billion in earnings. According to Nimal Siripala de Silva, Minister of Ports, Aviation and Shipping, Sri Lankan Airlines will be restructured as opposed to being sold as suitable party investors have expressed interest. Previously, Air Asia and Haley's were among the shortlisted candidates for the airline. Looking at regional tourist destinations, Maldives welcomed over 113,000 tourists in June, bringing year-to-date arrivals to over 1 million. India remained the largest source market, followed by the UK and China. And with that, we wind up for this week. Do subscribe to our YouTube channel at the link below for regular updates on economic and business developments in Sri Lanka. Until we see you again next week, thank you for watching. Stay safe.